Over the last two years, the United Sorghum Checkoff has put a lot of resources into sugarcane aphid management. We've funded numerous studies across the U.S. Uh, looking at sugarcane aphid. Uh, various, various research topics have been covered. And then we've also put together a lot of information just from an educational standpoint. This is going to be a series of seven, seven videos where we're highlighting different topics for sugarcane aphid management. Uh, this video is entitled Integrated Pest Management and Best Management Practices for Sugarcane Aphid Control. One of the things you want to consider for sugarcane aphid uh, management is planting date. Early planting is an option and what we're trying to do with early planting really is just to avoid the sugarcane aphid or delay when the sugarcane aphid infests the sorghum. In some cases, by early planting, you may be able to avoid the sugarcane aphid altogether or at least postpone uh, when that sugarcane aphid infests the sorghum to maybe the, the hard dough stage uh, where it's not gonna directly affect yield. So that is something that should be considered uh, when, you're, when you're thinking about how to control the sugarcane aphid is your planting date. And then also consider seed treatments. Now, this is particularly important for late planted sorghum. The seed treatments and all of the, the, the seed treatments that are available, and there's basically three of them that, that can be used commercially, will do a, a good job of controlling sugarcane aphid early in the season. And they'll typically give you about 40 days of control. Uh, so if you're early planting when, when you're not maybe going to get the aphid until later in the season, maybe that seed treatment is not as important. But certainly for late planting, I uh, would strongly encourage you using a seed treatment. Also think about planting a tolerant hybrid. Tolerance does not mean immune, so you still need to be scouting uh, the tolerant hybrids for sugarcane aphid, and if you reach threshold, we do want you to spray. But what the tolerant hybrids will do is they will potentially give you a little more time before you have to actually spray for the aphid, or in some cases reduce maybe the number of applications that you end up having to make. But just make sure that tolerant hybrid does fit your particular operation, that the maturity is what you want and its various characteristics uh, before just planting a, a tolerant hybrid for the sake of a tolerant hybrid. Certainly the key for sugarcane aphid is thoroughly scouting your field. And, and our recommendation is you scout that field uh, once a week once sugarcane aphid comes into your region or your county. Uh, and then once it's found in your field, then you need to scout that field twice a week uh, because of the potential for that sugarcane aphid just to blow up very quickly and reach threshold level. Once that threshold is reached, then an insecticide application must occur really as soon as possible. Just delaying just a three or four days can drastically reduce yield, uh, particularly at those early growth stages. So, uh, you know, prior to, to say that milk stage of development, you've really got to be on top of the aphid and you reach threshold, you've got to be ready to spray. Once the decision has been made to apply an insecticide, then coverage is critical. Uh, for ground rigs, we suggest uh, 15 to 20 gallons of water. Uh, with an airplane, we strongly suggest using five gallons of water just to get good coverage. And that, again, really is key for the control. Whenever possible, if you've got multiple pests in the field, uh, and you're needing to control maybe headworm or midge, we would like to see you avoid the use of pyrethroids or some of the other insecticide classes uh, that can lower the beneficial insect number because those beneficials are very important in, in maintaining and just keeping the, uh, uh, the sugarcane aphid under control. And then finally, uh, the two products that we do recommend for use in controlling sugarcane aphid is Savanto Prime and Transform. Both of these can do, a, can do an excellent job and, and those are the two products that we strongly recommend you use if you have sugarcane aphid that reaches threshold. If multiple insecticide applications are needed or anticipated, then we strongly uh, suggest that you rotate the use of the Savanto Prime or Transform. And the reason for that is we don't want the sugarcane aphid to become resistant uh, to, to one of these two products because we, we certainly want to maintain uh, these two products as being viable choices for sugarcane aphid control.